Au premier regard, il avait l'air d'un pompier sévère avec ses gros sourcils et sa, moust et sa moustache de motard. At first glance, he looked like a severe firefighter. With his big eyebrows and mustache, he looked difficult to approach. But behind this tough facade, hid a man accessible, sensitive, and always ready to listen. Firefighters from across North America united in their grief to give one final send-off to Pierre Lacroix, the Montreal firefighter who lost his life during a water rescue on the St. Lawrence River. Montreal honors one of its bravest sons here at the Notre Dame Basilica, a fitting tribute for one who thought of others before himself. Pierre avait deux familles distinctes. Pierre had two distinct families. He had his girls, Annick and Stephanie. He talked about them with glowing eyes. He was very proud. His other family was our family, the firefighters, which took a big place in his heart. It occupied his daily schedule, so much so that he always had a reason to pass by the fire station during his vacation. An honor guard escorted Lacroix's remains from the viewing site at Grand Quai to the Basilica, joined by Lacroix's family and close friends. Hundreds of first responders from across North America packed the square outside, while inside, friends remembered a man who knew what it is to live for others. You were a loyal friend, and when you adopted someone, it was for life. You loved and wanted to give, but all too rarely to receive. But not every Montreal firefighter was able to mourn. There's still a job to do, and over 100 were called to a four-alarm fire. What is important to see is that we never, we never close the fire department. You see, we are here right now with all the, the firefighters who don't work today, but we have firefighters working. The significance of the morning fire wasn't lost on those watching the service outside, who expressed their gratitude to those still on duty to keep the city safe. I'm grateful for their service and um, for the risks they take every day to keep us safe. And uh, I hope they're doing okay today, because it must be a really somber reminder of um, what can happen to them. So. I'm grateful for everything you do. Thank you. And the whole city is here with you to grieve. In Montreal, Shaoli Lee, City News.